Hi geeks, welcome to Today in History, your daily dose of fun facts, conspiracies and all that good stuff. Friday, November the 20th. November 20th, 1910 marks the beginning of the Mexican Revolution. Before that day, Mexico had suffered 34 years of dictatorship under Porfirio Diaz. The economy yeah, had been growing, but the rich were richer and the poor were poorer. Yeah, sounds familiar, right? So, discontent kept growing despite a systematic silencing of any opposition. So, when Diaz announced in an interview that he would not run for re-election, the opposition, led by Francisco Madero, became more active and gained fast support. And that kind of made Diaz go back on his word and imprison Madero just before the elections. However, Madero escaped to the United States shortly after and from San Antonio issued the Plan de San Luis de Pontosí, where he called for a rise to national arms on November the 20th. All that sparked a revolution that would lead to the proclamation of the Mexican constitution and that forged pop culture legends such as Emiliano Zapata and Pancho Villa. And a different type of revolution happened on November 20th, 1985, when, as most of you geeks will already know, Windows 1.0 was released. This year marks the 30th anniversary, so if you own any device running Windows, let's celebrate it this Friday. Take your device out on a date, get some cake, you know, make the device feel special. Anyway, back to Windows 1.0. Not surprisingly, the system was not the prettiest, not the coolest, or neither the best performing operating system. But as with many other things, somehow Bill Gates and Microsoft pull it off and establish it as the dominant system around the globe. However, initial reception was poor. Critics felt that the system did not meet their expectations and suffered from performance issues. Really? Windows performance issues? No way! Did you mean the horrible blue screen of death? <laughs> well, for the better or for the worse, Windows did make a difference. So happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to... Okay, this is weird. So, that's all for today. If you need more, check out the full next week in history video or just wait patiently because we have a new video tomorrow. See you, geeks. Bye.